Uh, Randy Land uh, is home to the Phantasma Gloria, which is a vast glass mosaic of large teardrop shaped lenses that capture the sky in each one. Well, I started building the Phantasma Gloria uh, only after a good long time, many years actually, of having an intense desire to make something new and beautiful in the world. Uh, and it turns out that that is really, really difficult, or uh, I found it so, uh, by its very nature. It's wholly unknown until you come upon it. And so I tried a bunch of different things. Uh, I used to be a writer, and I was a good writer, uh, of um, uh, nonfiction um, journalism, long-form journalism, uh, and that was fun. Uh, but I had this, this uh, uh, un- irresistible uh, urge to do something new and beautiful not something old and beautiful but something new and beautiful and uh, so I tried a bunch of different things and uh, one day I was at my kitchen sink and I had a cobalt blue teardrop shaped bottle on my windowsill and I was looking out the window at a giant cumulus cloud above Mount Wilson and the sun was out shining. And I looked down and I saw this blazing blue light inside this teardrop shaped blue water bottle. And I put on my glasses and I leaned real close and I saw the entire sky, this giant cumulus cloud shrunken and upside down three inches tall. And the sun itself was blazing inside. That was the, the pale, the, the blue light that I saw. And at that moment, I realized I could make something new and beautiful in the world. And that is a mosaic made out of a thousand shining skies. Uh, well, um, I've made 18 different uh, Phantasma Glorias in 18 years uh, in the same 50-foot span. The structure, uh, I, you, uh, I began by taking uh, a 20-foot long piece of soft steel rebar they used in concrete uh, to, re to reinforce concrete because it's tremendous tensile strength uh, being steel and I spring load them. I plant one end in the ground with a stake maybe so it can swivel and I take and I go to the other end, you know, they're half an inch or five inches thick, they're beefy. And I uh, walk towards the fixed end with the other end in my hand and it makes a perfect arc. And then I plant that, uh, uh, my end into the ground and stake it down and eventually put concrete there. And I have a spring loaded arc that can carry much more weight than the same piece of rebar just uh, just hung between two points and then I take another piece of rebar and do the same thing and spring load it and, inter and, and, and interconnect those two and another and another on different planes and it creates a spring loaded steel spider web that can carry my weight as I you know clamoring all over it and the weight of these giant teardrop shaped lenses uh, which are full of water after I fill them with water that's when they turn into lenses uh, and water is heavy it's uh, you know, eight pounds a gallon more, more than as I understand it. so that's uh, uh, so that's the physical process of how I make, make the structure and uh, I suspend each of the teardrop shaped double lenses uh, by 14 gauge galvanized wire I have to make a harness for each lens or double lens out of that same uh, galvanized wire. And then once I do that, I can suspend them in any configuration I want. Um, if the configuration is one of a, of a recognizable uh, image or person, such as the Virgin of Guadalupe, I'll, which is we have next to me, I'll draw that out ahead of time. And I'll ch keep checking against the drawing, stepping back to making sure I'm getting the proportions right so that people will be able to recognize the image. But if it's, um, if it's uh, one of my own creations, I feel a little, I mean, if it's one of my own designs, as opposed to taking the Virgin of Guadalupe design, um, 
I'll uh, uh, be less uh, reluctant to change the image as it goes along as the spirit moves me. People come from all over the world and many people bring their loved ones, their 94 year old mothers or 98 year old mothers is coming soon or little kids and the, mo the thing that thrills me the most, the thing that uh, 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 really provides a deep and abiding uh, 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 happiness for me is when people as they often are and they say so and you can see it in their eyes are inspired inspired at the possibilities of life. You can go into your own front yard and take the incredible colors that are beaming down on you free from the sun. It's like water coming from God and all you have to do is drink. And when people come here, they see that. Uh, and and uh, they'll walk away uh, 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 feeling the world is a more beautiful place and uh, the possibilities in their own life are, are more beautiful and broader than they were when they arrived.